And that one's done. Let's get cracking. Good. Oh, I've seen somebody in the live this morning. It was your sister, Viv. I've seen her in 3D. Can you believe it? It's weird seeing somebody and not on a TV screen. That's so you know I'm wrong. All right. In steps alongside the beam, guys. From there, let's just get those first feet rocking to the front and to the rear. Nice and gentle. Not going to go for it mad, anything like that. Slow build up. You're doing our beam lattes. It's all upstairs between the ears, the balance, the posture, the focus, the concentration. And we're going to put a little bit extra in with our yellow band. Just bring the hips forward, but out to the rear. Nice and easy, equal body weight distribution. We know how important that is. What we don't realise is how much I nag you until you actually trip and stumble and almost fall. But you hear my words ring in your ears. Equal body weight distribution. Let's bend it forward a little bit more, guys. There. And rolling the feet backwards, nice and gently, curving the feet upwards. You're never going to feel 100% stable doing this movement. This is never going to happen because you're rocking up on your heels, you're bending forward from the hips, you're getting a big stretch down the back of the body at the same time. There's so much going on there. But it's a confidence thing as well. That's my maximum. You can slowly start bringing it back up, bring the hips forwards. And as you bring the hips forward, it's going to stretch in the hip flexor area. Oh, shit, nicely forwards. Oh, shit, nicely forwards. Good, there. Fantastic. Good, come on the toes. Get the heels off the floor. Make a little bit of a banana shape. Then relax it down a little bit. Switch from there to a heel raise. Just going straight up and back down. Nice and gently. Imagine you string top of the head, taking us up and back. Up and back. And there. Good, two left. One and two. And back to the heels again. Roll it forwards. Back of the hands facing me. And then shoulder height to the front. It's a really nice, slow time build up, but we all go appreciate it. The first time anybody comes into a class, being fit, doing anything like this, it can be a little bit of an off balance thing, because that's what we're trying to do off the balance, but increase our balance and our core stability. W position, hands coming up to there, just nice and gently at first. Start to push the arms a bit further back, a little bit further, and hand span, open little fingers from the thumbs. Up we go there. Good. Up we go. A4 paper. Tweet the shoulder blades and working those back and working them back in the long arms after two. There's one and there's two. And here we go. And gently sweep up towards the ceiling. Gentle sweep up towards the ceiling. Good. And roll the feet forwards. I'm now starting to reach up a little bit higher. Just pushing those arms up. Nice control all the way. Pushing the arms to the rear as far as they'll go. Now bring the elbows in and we can feel how slowly increase that one. Nice and reaching up. Nice and high. Good. Now, don't hand span the fingers. Bring the fingers together. There. Makes you look a lot better there. The judge is watching you get your 10 out of 10 for that one. Two for the price of one in two. There's one. There's two. So here we go there and back. And do that split second pause there. Mine's just a bit longer than split second, so you can just about see it. But if I do it normal speed there, you can't even tell, guys. Good. And back. push the hands to the rear all the way. I know how the shoulders are feeling. Mine are feeling the same. Two left. There's one. There's two. Slowly stand up and just gently shake everything out. Bring those feet back to the side of the beam. Hands to the side, any side you want to. You could do all this warm up in your sleep, I know. Upright and over the other side. There. Remember, don't just do these exercises, particularly in a, a beam large, a Pilates based. We're getting the feel for the body. Bring that back up nice and straight. Bring the pointy fingers out. Put the concrete trousers on. Mine are pink today. Three times on the other side. Round we go. Watching that finger now. Round we go. And bringing it back. Good. And this side. Round we go. Good. Well, you know what? I'm getting fairly around sharpish left and right here. And increasing again. That's good. And bringing it back. So my tightness is in my shoulders. Round we go. And the same that side. So we're happy with that. Third one this way. Round we go. And we're bringing it back. And the last one. Round we go. And there. And we bring it back, arc the hands down, bring them back together, hold the thumb, lock it out, and rotate the shoulder nice and slowly. Doesn't matter how many times, it'll be more than one, and that's good. 
And I'm taking it back to the rear again. I think it was four or five then. Oh, tingly feeling down the spine. So my work here is done. Three breaths coming up. Here we go. Hands up and out. Turn the palms up. Breathe in. Arcs and circles. Feeling for that daily cheese wedge shape as the abdominal area gets sucked in. Pushing the hands out again. Turn up and go. Exhale down to the heart. We're going to do four of these today, guys. Switch it out. Just the same as the last one. Turn hands up and go. Exhale down to the heart. Good. Squish the hands out. Palms up and hold. Hands span. Open the fingers up. Rotate the palms to the rear and keep it going until you feel the Y shape coming down the arms and down the middle of the body. Keep opening up, keep opening, keep rotating to the rear. Big breath in. Exhale down to the heart, elbows nice and high. Oh, pile with the ground, isn't it? Three second isometric push in. Go. One and two and three. Going to hook those hands over. Only this two isometrics. Here we go. Pull. One and two. And a three, arcing the hands down, shaking them out. Good habits from the back of the wrist. Mexican wave with the fingers. And I've got an itch in the hand there. What's that all about? I don't know. Let's get straight to the beam, shall we? So no, so no previously, the past three, four weeks, we start with different exercises. First time we start with three-step beam walks for a few weeks. Drop the heel or bring it forwards. Now, step in, walk in, beam artist style. The pause, listen for the timing. Ready? Go. Step, pause. Step, still, step, still, focus how the hand was doing. Return, one, and hold it, and two, and hold it, and three, and hold it there. Pause, one more time, go. Step and hold, step and hold, step and hold, there. The other one was through the body, just hold that one there. Put your knees downwards, shins working crazy mad. Fast twitch fibers going basically maniacs. Return, one, hold, two, hold, and three, and hold that there. And on the slow stuff, I pick a focal point about that angle down, and that's what, that's what I'm looking at, straight down there. Switch back, swap the feet over, round we go, no hangovers on that beam. Maneuvering around the beam, stepping on and off the beam with confidence, with no hangovers. God, my fingers going mad. I must have got to win something, guys. I haven't put anything on though. Best go and do that. Here we go, same side. And step and hold. Step and hold. Step and hold. Nice and relaxed there. Good. And return. One, hold. Two, and hold. And three, and hold. Before we do the next one, if you get in a state on the beam, you're thinking, oh, this is, to know how good you are, somebody who does not do the beam one day, just get it out, rip their socks off, and get them to do this exercise nice and slow, and watch how they do it, guys. Watch their feet, all right? This is how good you are. Go. One, hold. Two, and hold. And three, and hold it. Return. Ready. Step. Step, step. Wasn't that nice and stable? Good, hands up and out, turn up and breathe. Exhale down to the heart, squish those hands out. Round we go for two, pause, turn, go again. Exhale down to the heart, squish the hands out, bring it back round to me, keep the hands there, step forward one. So you notice the past four, six weeks, rotate round the other way, turn hands up again. I've increased and raised the bar in all the classes, and back around to me. One more breath, turn up and breathe again. In the slow ones, they're slow, but we're actually getting more and more done because I'm slowing it right down sometimes, that extra focus. I'll close hands down, guys, step away and give everything a nice shake out. Let's pick up the band straight away, shall we? I've got my handles there just in case I need them. Various ways of holding them. I know you all you guys right now are experts, but some guys who are coming in the weekend. So you can hold it that way. I can put my hands to there, that locks it off. I can sometimes, I want to be security, wrap it round to there. With the yellow band, you're not gonna nip anything and shouldn't be cutting anything off, okay? All right. So, and you can also spit on the palms, gives you a bit extra grip as well. All right, right foot in the front, left foot behind. Okay, gonna hold the band, shoulder width apart, it's there. Now you can have your hands anywhere you want to, all right? It's a nice grip. Okay, 
Open up the hands, keep the arms long. Long, 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 out there. And bring it back in. You probably get to your maximum on your band, bring it back into there. Good. And again, out we go. Now, on the beam, can you what's happening? That's going down the spine into the lower back and back in again. Fantastic. One more. Out we go. It's there, keeping the arms long. There. And back in again. Pause. Going to break it down. And we're going to step forward one. There. Now, if you didn't see that there, my right hand slips on this one. I'm just going to wrap it around the hands like what you did before. To there. Good. Shoulder width apart, approximately, to there. Ready? Keeping the arms long. And that will. So we're not, if we cut your candy, you go really wide. There. That's my maximum on this band. I won't go any further. And I come back again in. There. So nicely paused. Now I feel like working. It's coming up the spinal column. There we go. It won't stay in the lower back. It'll work its way up. And then back in again. You're going to feel the ribs working hard. The abs are going to get sucked in full 360. You're unleashing the power of the beam fit beam with the yellow band, guys. There. And bring it back in. Fantastic. Arc it down. I'm going to take one step backwards to even that off. Mexican wave with the fingers. You're just going to, if you haven't felt it, you're starting to get your biceps working, your shoulders across the body, that H shape, and all the way back down again. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring it back. Same hand position. So there. So just by standing on the beam, not even walking, but keep it where we are, you can feel how different it is. Hand straight down to there. This time, they're going to go out to the side. That's the maximum on my, it won't go any further that band. It does, I'm going to ping it and snap it if I pop by. Bring it back in again nice and slowly there. Now if what's happening, you know, dare to wedge shape, take it out, we talk about with the bands. Out we go there, it's nice and slow, good. You can feel your ribs working super hard at the side. You're going to do the sideways breath. That's the area we're getting now. Out we go again, there. But on the beam, your posture has also come nice and high. And take it back down, we're in, and there. One step forwards. Pause and hold. Good. Ready? Same again. Just gently taking them out. Now feel what's happening in the body. All those arms are working. Bring it back in. And where the band is across your waist, that's the central area where you can feel the waist muscles working. Bring it back out. There. Your abs. Good. And in again. This is, a, this is a building exercise, guys. Here we go. As we proceed, you're going to be feeling it and feeling it. And we go there. Good. Now we bring it back in. Nice and slowly. Fantastic. Let's step off the beam and shake everything out. Good. Stay on the beam. While we're stepping off, to so relax it down and stay nice and focused. Going to have the same distance with the same hand grip. Shoulder width apart. It's there. Right foot to the front, left foot behind. Okay, put my heel over, doesn't want to go, there it is now, all right, good, here we go, I take it up to the front, just hold that there, dip down and pull the, bit, pull the band apart at the same time, so I'm dipping down to there, and I get maximum and hold there, and I bring it back up and bring it back in to there, fantastic, step forward one, go, so notice what's happening straight away, look at the extra focus you're putting into this, the concentration, there, because you also know, the yellow, if we start doing this, you see the yellow band all over the place. Here we go, bring it back up. Fantastic, that's a nice straight line. Step there. And I brought it in, didn't I? Now we go back down again. Cheated. Then we go there, good. Out and recover, standing back up, bringing the band back in. Fantastic, good. And step again. So we're bringing in the full body, balance, coordination, engagement of the core, alignment of the spine, and we're doing the moving. There, fantastic, and slowly bringing that back up again. Good, reverse. So, keeping that position, same one again, down we go. That way we get four in. There, good, and nice and slowly back up again. Now you can feel all the body working. Take it back one step. Now you're starting to think, I'm glad it's just the yellow band. Take it down, guys, it's there. Good, and nicely back up again. Fantastic, liking it, good, and a stepping back. There, I'm now looking at my feet, trying to work out how, <laughs> how much room I've got left on my beam. I've got one more there, and we go there, and up we come. Feel the shoulders working hard now. The muscles are starting to knock on the doors of the, their neighbors, saying, give me a hand, stepping back as the last one. Spatial awareness, well done. And down we go, there, good. And slowly up we come, fantastic. 
and we're going to drop that down, guys, and gently just shape everything out. Lock that thumb to the front and rotate those shoulders forwards and then back out to the rear. We're liking that one. We're going to turn the beam sideways. Good. Okay. Onto the beam. Semi sumo position. That's in your comfy position. You normally semi sumo, no hangovers. Gonna have the band. I'm gonna wrap my pop my hands, I think. But I'm gonna bring it in. I'm starting off that position there with the knuckles together. See, I've wrapped it round. I've got all the movement I need is that. No more. Okay, so that's it together. That's the maximum of my band. All right. So we're here. And we're in. Right, hands to there. Let's get that resistance band opened up. We're going to pull it out to there, guys, and now get that going there, left and right. But hold that band where it is. There. Good. Now we start dipping down. Keep the band where it is. So I'm getting my opposite hand by the knee and taking it. When I haven't got my long fingers, obviously, because I'm gripping, I'm getting as low as I can. Either shoulders, hips aligned. Out we go. Opposite hands going across and in front of the opposite angle. Now coming back up again, nice and slowly. Keep that band opened up. It'll want to pull apart, pull back together, and it will do that if you let it. Keep that going, left and right, good. Now take the hand all down there. See that move increase? I'm taking those hands over even further. Out we go there. Now feel how the arms are working. Now there, without me thinking about it, that band came back in again. So I'm gonna make sure I pull apart and reset it, good. Now we're taking it back down again there. And keep that maximum left and right thing going. Down we go. There. Huge full body exercise. Now feel that like rocking the base of the skull. That's the yellow band only. Now recovering, bringing it back up again. Keep the hands going maximum. Keep the, the band pulled apart. There. Good. Fantastic. There. And now just relax and get the hands going. Straight leg. Straight leg. Straight leg. Straight leg. And two and one, and hold that there. Rotate those shoulders forwards. Good, okay. Coming out two, shoulder width apart. There. This hand stays still. That one's come out to there, and we're gonna rotate around now and get a Usain Bolt thing going to there and hold it. Pull that back, a nice straight line you want. In line, looking good. However, we're going to dip it down nice and slowly. So come down nice and slowly. Keep focused on that front hand. Keep the back hand nice and long and slowly coming back up again. Good. Like that. Your long arm. Bring it back in. Reset those. Take them back down. We'll take those shoulders. Good. Other side. Up we go. Long arm out. Pull the band backwards. And again, focus on that thumb on the long arm and slowly bring that down. There. What's a yellow band is showing off all your nice straight lines. That's my maximum. Slowly coming back up again. Feel the body heat coming up and increasing. Bringing the hands back down again. Reset. We'll take those shoulders forwards. Good. One more time at the side. Here we go. Taking it back up. Long arm coming out. Now look how focused you are with putting on that band, on the resistance. And take it back down again. You're not doing any sudden movements. You're fully focused and concentrated, and without even saying the Pilates-based session and nice smooth movements, you're doing it. So it's standing back up again. There. Feel that core working all the time now. Good. Bringing the hand back down. Rotate the shoulders forward. That little thing to keep us nice and chilled and relaxed. Good. Back up to the other side. There we go. Big exercise. Pull the hand backwards. Watching the straight line of that band. Because we know there's lots of people on press and play later, and they'll be watching the yellow bands. <laughs> Oh, that wasn't straight, that dipped down a little bit. And slowly back up again. But we're all looking fantastic, looking good. And from there, bring that hand back in, rotate those shoulders forwards, and then to the rear. Hold that position. Bring the hands out just a little bit wider. So I've got my arms coming out there. I'll put it down, see this instead? Okay, keeping the arms nice long. Pull the band outwards, it'll come out to the chest and touch there, good. Now hold that position. Rotate left or right, any side you want to. Just to the maximum you can. It won't be very far because the position that we're on. Pause and hold. Bring it back round towards me and back round the other side. This is major, major, capital B for balance, guys, and core stability, focus, concentration. Back round towards me. 
Think daily to wedge here. Keep those arms nice and wide. One more time, back around the other side. It's surprising we can't get us, we want to go further, but we can't because the way our feet pattern is. Bring it back around towards me. But look how much we're working hard, feeling abs working. It's a fantastic abdominal exercise. Round we go. We're working from the opposite hip to the opposite shoulder. And then back around towards me. Pause and hold. Bring that back in. Step off the beam, step away, shake it out. It's surprising, isn't it? Yellow band, the move you've done so far, and you can start you. I've got all this going on. <laughs> you can feel it. It's that strength. Good with the yellow band, guys. Good to stay. Fantastic. Good stuff. Bring the beam back nice and straight again. We're liking it. Okay. Think of that last grip we did. So to the tester first, before we get onto the beam, make sure the grip you've got there, you can actually start from here and do that, all right? And you get maximum on your band. So I've got to bring a bit more because that went a bit tight there. Here we go. So I start to here and I come up and out. Good, there. What we're going to mimic is our flying angel. So you think I have flying angel movement now with the hands come up and out. But to there, that's what we're doing, okay? So now you're going to think, what? Now, although I've got my hands locked there, I'm going to do that with the hooks just to stop them dangling about and whacking me in the arms, all right? Or breaking my watch. Yes, I've been there. <laughs> That's happened. Okay, here we go. Right foot front, left foot behind. It's flying angel, guys, down to our knee. So think it through. It's here you've got your band. Your hands are going to feel tied together, but we can get it way out. Confidence, ready? First time this one's ever been done by us. Here we go. Three, two, one, step forward, there and down. Good, brilliant, recover, up we come, there. So there's your movement, off we go again, up and out, there. Good, and return, up we come, and there. Bit wobble there, two left, here we go. Odd numbers, there's another new thing, down we go, fantastic. Good posture, and up we come, and there. Yellow bands and straight lines really show off how we're doing their posture, don't they? Last one out, we go there and down and hold. Fantastic. From there, rotate around we go. Any direction you want, take that around. Keep the band nice and long. Again, down into his wedge shape. Back around towards me, facing me. Keep the arms long. Around the other side, the maximum you can go. It won't be that far if it's away towards that leading leg. Back around towards me. Good, like it. From there, recover three, two, one, up we come, and down. Step away, guys, shake it out. And you probably felt, it's a movement that's so common, it's in our repertoire, what we do. You're gonna feel the legs and everything working a bit harder, just by the band coming out, it's transferring down through this core. Why is that? Think of that isometrics, how that works. We're getting the same effect, guys. It's massive on the beam, it really is. Left foot front, right foot behind or you, how, whatever foot you start with. Just the same, we're going to do, and we'll do four, no bonuses, no Pinocchio noses. So let's focus, let's think it all through. Stepping forward and down, feel that heart rate coming up. Okay, good. And go, out, step, and down, there. Brilliant. Recover, up we come. There, up. Good. And two, it's out and down, there. And that felt better with the band for some reason. The first one was it jerked it a little bit. Here we go, coming upwards. There. That did. That was smoother. Out we go again. Out. There. Good. If it's not one nice smooth movement, the band lets you know straight away. Recover. Up we come. There. Now you're making it look easy. Off we go again. Last one. Out. And down. And we hold. Here we go. Rotate. Look at the extra focus you're putting in there. Round we go. Are you automatically using the yellow band to sit to your control, bring it back around? Visually, the eyes are focusing on it, looking at a nice straight line. Take it back around the other way. Because you know it's a nice straight line, you're helping keep yourself nice and stable. Fantastic how the body works, isn't it? Bring it back around towards me, guys. Gonna hold it there for two and a one and recover in three, two, one. Up we go, roll the foot back. Bring it down, brilliant. Step away from the beam. Good. Liking it. Liking it a lot. 
more movement on the beam. Last time we yellow band on the beam, I think we did less movement, more so static, stood still using the bands. We're going to go for some nice posture stuff now, guys. We're going right leg to the front, left foot behind, band under the front foot, and that stays there nice and stable. Now you put as much in, in resistance on this as you want. These are tested first. That's the position we're aiming for there, okay? I can put a little bit more on that. There. Good. Now on your yellow bands, remember, some of the moves you're taking them to their maximum. So when you're doing this with your bands, more little bit of maintenance, looking at where if there's any perishing going on, the first six inches towards the hand is really important. Now, bands with work, stand nice and tall. It's only people start doing resistance classes and they start getting a really bad posture. Nobody in our little family ever has, guys. Here we go. Raise it up, pause, hold. Now keep the foot still, rotate around any direction you want to. There, good, nice grip, bring it back around towards me. Good, and rotate back the other way. If it's towards your lead foot, you won't get so far. Take it as far as you can, bring it back around towards me, pause, hold, and now we lower it nicely down. Good, there, adjust your grip if you have to. Raise up, there, and back down. Good, raise up, there, good. And can you feel the back working? There, in the waistline, raise up and hold. Around we go, any direction you want to. I'm going towards the beam, this one. There, oh, that's maximum. Now bring it back around. Now, can you feel how much extra work that spinal column's doing? Take it back the other way, just because we're on the beam and because we've got the yellow band. Around we go that way, strengthening, back around towards me. Good, and lower down. It's the muscles either side of L1 to L5. Up we come, guys, there. Chest upwards, bows of a ship. Lower back down, good. And again, raise up. Chest up, bows of a ship, fantastic, good. And down, last one coming up, we've got rotations again to finish off, here we go. Nice and high, hold, and rotate around. There. We're doing exercises, guys. You can't get the same stuff done with kettlebells, dumbbells, or whatever. Bring it back around towards me. It has to be resistance bands. And back around to the other side as far as you can go. Good. And then towards me. And then lower it down and step away from the beam nice and gently. Give the hands a shake out. Can you feel that? The grip, the fingers, the forearms, all the fitness tests we're talking about. And right in here, that daily cheese wet chips getting way sucked in. You're working the big muscle right into core, the boxes muscles, guys, the stability ones. Good. You know what? Feet either side of the beam, hands to the hips. Let's just circle those hips around a little bit. They're gonna like that. Take it back around the other way. Good. Doing one, back to the beam with the other foot to the front. Let's get in position. Now you might be thinking, oh, oh no. <laughs> okay. Now we've got to be that machine, haven't we? We've got to be that double voice machine. Get my hands right with the grip, standing nice and tall. Good. There, bows of a shape. Good S shape in the spine. We're ready. Up we come. There. And back down again. Fantastic. Good. And up we come again. There, bit different this side. On the third one, we're going to hit the rotation. Down we go and back up. We're not doing things exactly the same, do we? Pause, hold. Any side you want to, let's rotate it around. Watch the balance. Watch the feet. No hangovers. Now bring it back around towards me. Pass whites of the eyes and around to the other side. Keep the hands nice and high. Watch the grip. Round we go. Make it look easy. Bring it back around towards me. Pause and hold. And we lower, down we go, fantastic, and back up there. About now, guys, we have done this exercise a lot. We've done it in resistance on a Wednesday, haven't we? But today we're doing this one, can you feel those extra attachments working hard? Up we come, we pause and hold. Again, let's get the rotation going, round we go. There, this one's almost going to bed. And back towards me, work it hard, body trembling. Last pitch five is getting tired, back around the other side, pause, and hold, back round facing me, finishing it off, lowering down, there, back up, there's one, and lower, and two, and lower, last one coming up, be a machine, there, focus, show off, determination, round we go, any side you want to, round we go, maximum you can get to, unwind, bring it back round towards me, what's that grip, the shoulders and forearms are feeling tired, I know. Back round the other side. Pause and hold at your maximum. Back round towards me. It's there. 
then we lower down the control nicely and step away and shake everything out. Good. Fantastic. And anybody watching this on press and play, either in this group or in, down the line, whatever happens, these yellow bands, there's more going on here than what you think, okay? Rotate those shoulders around, guys. Forwards and to the rear. Okay, let's put the band down for a second. Here we go. Right foot front, left foot behind. Three step, beam lot is walking, not super slow. Follow me along, ready, go. One, two, three, return three, and two, and one. I've put this one in there, so I want you to feel the muscles that have been working, you can feel them working there here and deep in your core there. We've got that Y-shaped thing going on. Again, off we go. One, and two, and three. Return three, and two, and a one. So up the foot over. So all the work we've just done, we're working those muscles. As we come to walk now on the beam, you can feel what, those th what they're doing for us in everyday life. Let's go, and step, and step, and step. Return, one, and two, and three. One more this side, here we go. Step, and step, and step, and return for three, and two, and one, pause, hold, step up in. Let's pick up the band again. So us beamers, we've got that advantage of using the band and then, then saying, right, let's get on the beam. Let's put the band, band down. Let's do some normal walking. Those slow could be beam fit, those beam lattes we just did. But you then start feeling how the muscles are working through the body, okay? Lots of exercise classes, lots of people do workouts. They don't put that into their everyday life and get the feeling of what they've just been doing. All right, so from there, I'm going to both hands, right foot to the front, left foot's behind. It's under the front foot. Okay, standing upright to there, it's a straightforward bicep curl, but the hand is facing, knuckles facing you. So that's a normal one, knuckles facing you. Ready? Just take it up to there, the shoulders, reverse curl up and back down again there. Now, to do that, feel the body grow nice and tall. There, it wants to. Let that happen. Let that imaginary string tighten up top of the head. Just raise upwards there and back down. Maximum you can go to if you bang on the next one. Raise up and hold. And then just push upwards. There. Some yellow bands don't let go that far. Fantastic. Lower back down to here and reverse it back down again. Good. And all the way up to there and press. Up we go. Now look how stable you are on the beam. Bring it back down. There. Looking good. Big core exercise workout. Curve it up to here and then press again. Hold it this time. Follow me. All the way out to there. Fantastic. Rotate any side you want to. Take it around and then back towards me. And then finish off going the other side, the unnatural side, if you like. There. Back around towards me. Like it. All the way down to the hips. There. Good. Follow me on this one, guys. Ready? Raise up to the sides. Up, 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 up. All the way at the top. Fantastic. Lower it down to the chin, to there and reverse curl it back down to the front there. Good, here we go. Reverse curl up, it's a press, and it's out, all the way. Fantastic, all the way to the legs, all the way down the sides. Good, feels hip lips working hard. Last one this side, raising it out, long arms all the way. You are looking fantastic, well done, there. And you're all reaching up like, like Freddie Mercury, back down to here, looking good under the chin. Fantastic. And taking it all the way back down to there. Good. Dipping it down. There. Back heel off the floor. I'm wrapping a bit more around my hands, bringing the bands to there. We ready? Stand. Up we go. And dip it down. There. Good. And up we come. There. And back down. Look at all the moves we've just done. You can only do this with bands and a beam, there's nothing else you can get the reaction we've just had in this class today. There, you have to have your bands and it has to be combined with the beam. Last one, coming down, good. And then back up, pause and hold, finish it off, arcs and circles, take the hands out, then arc them nicely down and step away from the beam, guys. That was written to anybody on press and play, follow anybody on the screen, for all those movements and link them together will not be exactly the same this side. Let's get back on, guys. 
other foot to the front. Now, all the work you've always done on the beam, you're putting it all together in this way. It's smooth. You've got your balance and everything. And that's how good you all are on the beam by using the band at the same time. So here we go. Ready. Knuckles facing you. Reverse curl. It comes upwards to there. And back down. Good. Now feel the abs working hard. The grip as well. All the body's working together. This is all full body, base of the skull to the tip of your big toe. Down we go. Here we go. Third one, we raise up to there. Then we press. It's straight up power. Good. Back down again from where we started to here. And then back down, reverse curl. Good. I'm liking it. Feel the back working hard now. It's there. And we press upwards. Fantastic. Ready? Arms to the side. Out we go. Crucifix T shaped position and hold. That's enormous. Rotate around. That's confidence, power. It's also skillful. Back round towards, you're looking like a right bunch of professionals in this one. Back round the other side, round we go, there. And then back down towards me, feel the body working hard. Then down to the sides of the legs there and hold. Still nice and tall, well done. Here we go, up to crucifix T-shaped position. Then up to the sky or the ceiling. Then the lower down. Then the reverse, reverse curl to there. And then back up again to here. We press and all the way down and out. Doesn't that feel fantastic? Rewind this, guys. You're looking fantastic. Here we go. Take it back all the way out, reaching up, coming down to the chin. Reverse, reverse curl back down. Last one. Up we come. Can you feel that back leg getting tight now? There. And press. And then all the way back down and all the way around. Fantastic. There. Last one. Up we come. Be proud of yourself. Show off. All the way. Brilliant. There. Down to the chin. Reverse, reverse, curl back down. Good. Dip it down. Hands to here. We might go through the end. If we do clap from me, ready and stand. There. One. And dip. And two. Good. Three left. There. And up. Brilliant. And down. And up. Last one, down we go, back up, dip it down, good, release, good. You've been doubles fit club, you've been amazing, brilliant. Can we get this in? Yes, we can. Good. Powerful stuff, guys. That was up there. Hands to here, one, two, three, go, yes. You look like a right bunch of experts. That was fantastic, yeah. good stuff. Really impressive. Oh. Have a great day. <laughs> Carry on with your cleaning. <laughs> Thanks, Todd. Bye, everybody. Catch you later.